Hello and welcome back to another episode of Notion Bonsai. And today, as you can see, I am not in my garden. I'm actually at the side of a road here in Surrey, Lingfield. And right now I'm standing on the wire mill lane that leads right up to Heron's Bonsai. My flight left Belfast this morning at 6 a.m. So I had to be at the airport for like four. The reason why we're here today is because there's an event on run by Peter Chan and Kevin Wilson. There's lots of guest speakers there also to show off some of their trees. And the event is called Eight Bonsai Journeys. And also, you may be wondering, Adam, why did you bring a big suitcase? Normally, I like to travel light when I travel anywhere, but I brought the suitcase because today we're going to be camping on the nursery. I got a tent in here. Let's go set it up. I just got a mini tour from a guy called Steve. He works here on the nursery. He's been working here for like 30 years, right back when the nursery started. And he brought me to this area and he said, anywhere here, really, I can pitch the tent. And as far as I know, I'm the only person setting up a tent. There's someone over there, but they have a camper van. So the tent has been all set up. But the bottom of this tent is quite a thin material and it kind of lets water through. So I got this to put on the ground level of it and one side of this material is waterproof. So this should do the trick in keeping me dry. So I think the idea is you push on this and this puts air into it. That's pretty handy. It even comes with a pillow for your head. I think I am all good to go. The tent is set up over here. It is currently 9.36 a.m. Everything starts at 10. In this area right beside the tent, there are these really nice apple trees. Look at that. Just apples growing everywhere here. Look at that big maple. With the leaves on it. it looks like some sort of variety of like an emerald lace for leaves look at that juniper the deadwood on it Right now we're heading over to a big gazebo tent that is planted just beside the Heron Center. And in here there's gonna be some demonstrations and things going on. <laughs> and uh, we cut one small gin off of that. Like that big, yeah, you know what I mean? And counted the rings on it, yeah, and that was 60. So that tree is getting on for 800 years old, I think, something like that, yeah, you know. And the other thing is in Japan, yeah, when, when you get people styling trees in Japan, you think, you know, maybe that's gone through five generations, yeah, you know I mean? That person's soul has been, um, it's been worked into that tree, yeah. So when you see those trees from Japan, yeah, you know, four generations, five generations of people, yeah, you know, have worked that tree, yeah. And uh, that's the thing that captivates us, yeah. We just can't believe what we're looking at, yeah. The thing is, like, you're working at 25,000 RPM. What I suggest you do, yeah, is get yourself a dimmer switch, yeah, you know, and put it on a dimmer switch and, and carve at a, la a lesser speed. I've been doing it for 40 years, yeah, you know what I mean? So, I'm, and I've had a couple of bad accidents, yeah, so I'm never going to make another bad accident. We've got a rough line through there now, yeah. What I'm going to do now is go through the edges, yeah, and, uh, you know, make it more aesthetically pleasing as we go along. How deep would you go? Oh, I'm going to go really deep. <laughs> <laughs> Go deep, go deep or go home. <laughs> but the thing is, right, yeah, there's a lot of straight lines here. So what I'm just going to do is, um, is fettle, yeah, the edges here. You know, they look more natural here. So. It's not 
damaging at all, yeah, because obviously, yeah, there's no branches here in the front of this tree, yeah. So if you're doing something like this, yeah, this is called sabamiki, which I'm doing, yeah, shari miki, yeah. It's just where you leave it clean, yeah, like this, and don't do any holes. But what I'm going to do is sabamiki, yeah, which I actually go inside the tree, yeah. But if you see, there's nothing in front, there's nothing up there, yeah, for that for that Cambrian layer to feed, yeah. So we can do what we want in the front, yeah. If we started in the side here, yeah, we'd kill all the tree, yeah. So it was raining outside for a little bit, so I just came into the indoor greenhouse. Look at this one right here, the aerial roots on it is just crazy. You can see them right there, coming down. This one I believe is Ficus retusa. Another one here, there's so many the whole way along here. I just love the aerial roots on them. Look at that, how they're all twisting around. You've got all the little small ones down here. There is this one over here and it's got a little man on it. It's doing some fishing. We got the little fish in there. This is the section where all the pots live. There's so many different sizes, colors, glazed and unglazed. Like really nice ones down here. These are Tokoname pots. Look at this. And even just the patina on the bottom of this one, you see, accumulated from age. I really like the square edges of this one. It has stopped raining, which is great. Look at all these little trees down here. Little small ones. What species is that? It's an elm for sure. But I've never seen one with leaves quite this small before. Lots of them here. I think that's my finger there. Look how small them leaves are. This one is a fig tree. You can see the little fig fruits on the top. I think that's edible fig. Look at this great big maple. The trunk on it is just absolutely ginormous. And you've got all these beautiful autumn colored leaves. Even these ones over here you can see, look at that. Lovely colors. Look at the trunk line on these ones too. This one's almost like a twin trunk. Look at this one, oh my goodness. I don't even think I can explain how large this one is on the camera. You can really see how big this tree is. If I stand beside it, I'm like five foot six, five foot seven. This tree is just ginormous. So I'm here with Lee. Do you want to tell everyone your channel? Hi, yes, it's uh, Lee's Bonsai on YouTube. I uh, started about two years ago and it was mainly, I've always liked bonsai since I was a kid, um, watching the Karate Kid films. In the last couple of years, um, through my job, um, I'm actually a police officer. So I use the bonsai to de-stress and to get rid of anything bad that I may have seen during the shift. Um, and I find the bonsai helps me. Um, to do that and it's just a really relaxing thing to do. This is an outdoor juniper and this is on the bench of all of Peter's like nice trees. Look at the deadwood on that. It hasn't been treated with lime sulfur and it actually has a nice texture to it. Uh, I'm Yannick and I got into bonsai by I was spending the, the day at the basement of, of my best friend and he said we need a bonsai in this basement and uh, then I hopped onto YouTube uh, typed in bonsai and there was this uh, this funny guy named Peter Chan and I watched every video of him and I was like okay I you mean I can just buy a, ling a single shrub and turn it into a bonsai and it's super easy yeah let's do it and uh, then I got more bought more uh, some of them died some of them survived and how, how many trees would you have in total now between 20 or 30 nice. uh, uh, in several stages because they are produced artificially by immersing rocks in sulfuric acid they are immersed in vats of sulfuric acid and the softer parts get eaten away and the harder parts are left that's how you get the texture and because it's such a nice yeah, yeah. it's uh, extremely awkward to lift and move if you kind of one side if you're not caught out, you know. So this is the tree that Kevin was working on earlier. He's done all this really nice carving here. As you can see, even at the bottom, as he was going, he was explaining how even in nature, there is these big hollows where the tree has rotted at the base. 
and I think he's done a really nice job at styling this. It's got all the branches coming down. You've got that overall triangular shape to it. I think it's really set up to become a nice bonsai in the next few years. All this detail here where he's carved it. And this tree over here is a Sabina Juniper. This one was styled by a lot of different bonsai artists throughout the day as Kevin was working on this one over here. So right away as you can see the trunk on this tree. Amazing looking. It's got all these twists and turns and the deadwood goes up and around and there right around. I think it's been treated with some lime sulfur but just look at how it was styled after today it's almost a finished tree already I really like how this is looking I would say in another year or even half a year they could take the wire off and all these branches will set in place and I really like the planting angle also before it was sort of like this and they took it gave it a little bit more interest as you can see the movement now goes this way the line of the tree goes up the blues band is here professional stuff how many years have you been playing guitar? I started when I was 15, uh -huh. so that would be 61 years. The main purpose of this event, apart from enjoying ourselves and showing the bonsai, thank you to the exhibitors who came, Kevin and Chrissy and all that. The main purpose is really because we've enjoyed ourselves, is to raise money for St. Catharines. It's really heartening to see you all. Um, and thank you for your help. Yeah, it? we've, we've had, had, lunch we've then, had <laughs> our um, Burstow Friends group here uh, working with you all day, which is tremendous. Everybody is rallying to get us out of these tricky times. But what we need is that government funding. So if you don't know anybody of any influence, please tell them. We, we need that support, not just us. Every hospice is struggling. Um, so with that, while we're enjoying ourselves, please know that you've done it for a good cause. So bless you all and thank you for coming again. Thank you. Everything just ended. Uh, a lot of people have left. And this is Heron's Bonsai at night. All these beautiful trees here at night. Look at this. See if I head over this way. If I go night vision. So this is the nursery in night vision. All right. I'm just going to try and navigate my way back to my tent, which is in the middle of a field in the dark. I'm going to switch back to night vision here. Okay. I was speaking to Kevin Wilson and a couple of other of the guys that were doing the guest speaking. And they all told me that there is like deer at night that wander around here. I'm going to be very cautious. I found my tent. Look at this. Let's see if we can get inside. So here we are camping. Heron's Bonsai Nursery inside the tent. Now this is really cool. You can hear the planes overhead. It was such a good day, but for now I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. It is five past one in the morning. I'm currently in the middle of a thunderstorm with lightning. I like I woke up to like a flash in my eyes. My tent is kind of leaking, so on the roof here there's this wet area. So I'm going to patch up some of these holes. I brought with me some specific tent squares for patching up holes like this on the roof. I think this is just a little bit crazy. Peter did say if the storm gets too bad I can bring my tent into a greenhouse or the herons center. There's so many flashes of lightning but I did sort of wake up with a puddle on top of me. These little squares are definitely making it less. The storm is easing also. So 
so I've just turned on the torch for my phone. That way we don't need the night vision. It doesn't look as much like a horror film, but it has stopped raining, so I don't think it's going to get any worse. I can hear the storm moving away in this direction. So right now I'm sitting just waiting on my taxi to take me back to the airport so I can head back home. This morning we did a little bit of help around the nursery helping Graham take some of his trees from like the exhibition stands back to his truck. I did buy a few little things and a few little trees that I'll be working on in a future video. Just small little cuttings that we can make some cool projects from. And there you guys have it. On that, I'm going to end off this video right here. I just wanna say a big massive thank you to Peter Chan and Kevin Wilson for making this event happen. And also a big massive thank you to Peter for allowing me to bring a tent and camp on the nursery around the back of his house. It was such a cool experience. And also thank you to the guest speakers who came along and did some demonstrations, presented some of their trees. I learned so much in such a short space of time. And of course, to St. Catherine's Hospice who came and helped out a lot at the event. They did all of the catering. Remember to leave a like on this video. It really helps out the channel a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And please let me know what you thought of this kind of video down in the comments below. Perhaps I'll do more like this in the future. If you would like to support me and the things that I do on this channel, like traveling across the world to see bonsai events, hit the thanks button down below. If you would like to check out my new online shop where I sell things like rooting powder, bonsai cut putty, cream mates for cleaning your bonsai tools, anti-transpirants, and so much more, it is notionbonsai.com. I'll leave a link in the description and if you would like to keep up to date with all the things that I do off YouTube Please follow me on Instagram. It's at Notion Bonsai and you can see all the things that I do on there But on that, thank you so very much for watching